हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इट्स अ टाइम टू स्टार्ट आवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज अबाउट फंक्शन ऑफ सेवरल वेरिएबल्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दिस काइंड ऑफ फंक्शन दैट इंक्लूड सेवरल वेरिएबल्स एंड देन आफ्टर डैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट देयर डोमेन एंड रेंज हाउ वी कैन फाइंड एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस इट्स कंटिन्यूटी एंड आल्सो अबाउट द डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी now students if we discuss the definition of function of n independent variables then it will be let me write here uh, functions of n independent variables okay now here we suppose that we have a d and d is the domain okay d is basically domain is the n tuples of real numbers theek okay? hai means i am using here um mostly mathematical notations uh, so that our uh, work uh, should be easy and concise because if i use here um or means total statement then uh, our video will get uh, too much for long okay and uh, n tuples of real numbers are like you can say x1 x2 x3 and up to so on xn okay then a function is defined as what kind of function we will have f uh, w is equal to f of x1 x2 x3 and up to so on xn and basically all these n tuples are independent variables and our w is a dependent variable and this is a rule means this function is basically a rule that assigns a unique real number okay and uh, to each element in d now the set d is the domain and also the set of w values in the function is the range definitely if we put our all x values then after that we will get w and our w will give us our range and uh, x1 x2 x3 and up to so on xn belongs to the domain and we also said that x i uh, sorry Uh, if we, yes if i denote it uh, all the x i means uh, all the x by x i uh, and we say that it is belong to a real number then our all x i are the input values and our w uh, means the required uh, means the given answer after putting these values would be the range of a function or we can say it is the output value okay <clears throat> now students let's come to word the domain and range of functions of several variables domain and range now students if we talk about the function of the kind uh, w is equal to y minus x square okay and um, we have to find its domain and range first of all we will find its domain and then we will see what is what would be the range now for finding domain definitely our this function would be greater than equal to 0 first of all you would set it is equal greater than equal to 0 like this one y minus x square is greater than equal to 0 if you take square on both sides and then you would get y minus x square is greater than equal to 0 and if you take uh, x square for, on this side then you will get y is greater than equal to x square now what does this tells us this tells us your y should be greater than or equal to x square you know when you will substitute here x square then you will you would get w is equal to 0 but if your y is less than x square then you will get the negative values inside the square root and then you will come across the complex numbers okay 
सो दैट्स वाई यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड दैट द फंक्शन इन साइड द स्क्वेयर रूट शुड नॉट गिव यू द नेगेटिव वैल्यू दैट्स वाई वी आर सेंग हेयर दैट यूर वाई शुड बी ग्रेटर एंड इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द रेंज नाउ इफ यू पुट वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वेयर दैन डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके बट आफ्टर दैट वेन यू put the values bigger than x squared then all the values of a w will be positive so that's why your range would be from 0 to infinity okay now if we talk about an other function like w is equal to 1 by xy now here here we can clearly see that our xy should not be equal to 0 okay and what's the reason the reason is this if our xy would become equal to 0 then we will get, we will get the form something over 0 uh, and it would be infinite so this is basically the point of singularity okay and uh, you know if we are not going to substitute 0 here means our x is not equal to 0 and also our y is not equal to 0 and that's why uh, our range would not include zero in that because when we couldn't substitute zero it could be one it could be any number we can go near to the zero but we will not get zero so that our range will be equal to negative infinity to zero and zero say infinity that means we are not including zero here and the reason is the same that our a function would get give us negative value also positive value but it could not be able to get give us the zero value now if you look at the function of the form w is equal to sin of xy now you know that we can uh, its domain is the entire plane okay entire plane means you can substitute all the values from negative infinity to infinity but we know the range of the sin and the cosine function is a uh, negative 1 to 1 this is basically the range so the range would remain the same uh, that is the trivial one but its domain would be the entire plane means we can substitute any value here okay now students if we talk about the function of the form w is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square and if we talk about its domain and range then you know that if we substitute here zero all the values zero if we substitute all the values x y z zero then it would become equal to zero okay and uh, if we substitute here uh, negative values then due to the square it would become positive and after that uh, um, positive values will remain positive means there is no reason that you get negative values inside the square root so that's why you will put here any value so uh, its domain would be the entire plane but when we consider its range it tells us that um when we substitute negative values here then due to the square of x y and z they become positive and due to that reason we uh, get uh, the we can get the value zero because we can uh, uh, substitute the origin means x y z zero so our range would be zero to infinity because we will we can get zero values and positive values but we couldn't be able to get the negative values so our range is this one now if we talk about the function 1 by x square plus y square plus z square and if we talk about its domain then you know that we couldn't be uh, uh, we couldn't divide it by 0 so our uh, domain does not include this point okay means it could be any number but it should not be equal to this particular origin and if our we uh, consider its range then it would be zero to infinity and uh, you can see here that i put here the open bracket the reason is this we couldn't include zero here uh, because there is no reason you can get uh, by applying any uh, number x y z here uh, or you get the zero so that's why i exclude the zero 
from here now after that if you talk about the function x y l and z then you know that our function l and z is undefined at z is greater than 0 so it would be the half space okay you will not uh, means apply the negative values here and also couldn't apply zero value here but you can use all the other values so that's why your domain would be half space and its range would be negative infinity to infinity because definitely uh, ln x or any value that you apply uh, x y uh, you can get negative values and also positive values and also zero values so that's the reason definitely you couldn't apply zero here but it, uh, your x and y can be zero and due to that reason your f entire means complete function would become zero i'm not using the word entire because i am also using it here so without a uh, loss of generality i am saying that you can put x and y here and your range would be negative infinity to infinity now student this is all about the functions of several variables basically this is a little bit introduction about how you can find the domain and range and um, what kind of functions are several variables now uh, in the next lecture we will talk about their um, continuity and also after that we will talk about the differentiability now students thank you so much see you next time